What's up folks, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I want to take a script that I wrote and I want to use the recently released ChatGPT01 preview model to help me improve that script. We're going to see through this workflow and see what kind of feedback we get, what kind of improvements we get, etc, etc. The first thing I want to show you is what the script is and what it does. So I'm going to go ahead to my cursor editor. I'm going to come over here to the script. And essentially, this script that I have is to connect the Todoist API, which is an app for managing your tasks. If you don't know about it, we can quickly go to todoist.com. And it's essentially, it's an app that allows you to manage your tasks like I have them here. Perfect. So now, um, what we're going to do is in this script, um, we have essentially a set of common tasks that I do for managing tasks, like creating tasks, editing, editing a task, deleting a task, updating a task, listing the tasks for uh, a given project, and then fetching tasks from uh, given a given a string, meaning searching for tasks that match a certain string. And then this is the special core of the script. I have a little function here called generate tasks LLM. And essentially what it does is it takes a task uh, description of multiple tasks to be executed. And then it generates a list of structured tasks with a certain set of characteristics. And then what it does is uh, it creates each of those tasks. So essentially I'm trying to combine uh, the ChatGPT API with structured outputs with the Todoist API to create tasks by just describing what I have to do and then having a model organize that for me. All right. So to demonstrate what this thing does, the first thing I want to show you is what this function is doing. So if we go to the original function, this function is in a script called LLM tools here. And what I'm doing is I'm using the Pydentic API right to generate a data structure for tasks which is called task and in this data structure i have two attributes the content and the due date the content is what the task is about right and the due date is the date to complete the task right this these are the only two things that i care about when i'm creating tasks in todoist right and then i have a lot another class called task list which will be a list of these task objects over here all right that's all we're doing. And then we have a function using uh, the GPT-40 mini model, right? Uh, along with structured outputs to create these lists of tasks according to this, which will be matching to this aspect. Meaning, I have structured outputs to create the all the tasks with the descriptions and the dates. And then I use a model to generate all of those based on some specific input that I give it. Okay. So then what I can do is I'll give you a demonstration of what that looks like. So we're going to, I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. And here I can come here and say Python to do this, right? And then the, um, the action I'm going to give it, if we go back here, I have a set of actions that I can give to this little API that I wrote, and it's going to be called generate tasks bulk. Okay. So I'm going to say um, generate tasks bulk, and then I'm going to say content. And now here I can describe the tasks. So I can say something like, I need to write a, I need to uh, make a YouTube video about this Python script I wrote on the, let's say, September September 15th of 2024. All right. So I can just send that to the to this particular script. And now we see that we've created a few tasks here, create a YouTube video about Python script. And then that task was created all great. So I can go to my to do list API. Right. And if I go here to the uh, create a YouTube, you see that the task was created right here create a YouTube video about Python script, etc. So that's pretty cool, right? Like I use that, um, I've been using this quite a lot recently, and it's an interesting take on how to leverage ChatGPT and large language models in an interesting way. I'm not using agents or anything. I believe that structured outputs and just simple responses from the model are like a simpler way to go about it. Okay, cool. 
So now what we're going to do is I'm going to copy all this, this script here, right? And I'm going to go over to the ChatGPT 01 preview, the recently released model from OpenAI that has amazing reasoning capabilities. And I'm going to say, I want you to write an improved version of this Python script I wrote. Uh, and I'm also going to give the other script that's that's used along with this one. And then I say, write the explanations for the improvements as comments on the code. Make sure to make the script executable at first try just as it is right now okay so that's what i'm giving i'm giving the entire script to the chgpt01 preview model and i'm asking it to write an improved version of it um and uh, make it executable meaning i don't want a script where i still have to do work on it i want to finish work and i want the improvements to be explained as feedback in comments inside of the code so i'm going to send that to the model and let's see what we get so now the model's thinking is refining the script, is breaking down the process. I like how now with this inner monologue that ChatGPT one preview model has, uh, the process is feels a little bit more, um, let's say explainable in a way, like you can inspect what was the process the model went through to give you a response, which is quite an interesting approach. Ensuring completeness, encrypting API keys, nice. Upgrading security, that's very nice. Setting API key, refining function clarity, pretty cool, pretty cool. Now let's see. All right. So it seems like now we have this one single script with some logging, which is interesting. And now we have an explanation of the improvements. So shebang line at it makes the script executable directly from the command line. Uh, that's not what I meant, but it's okay. Used run get to safely retrieve API tokens. Logging implemented. This is this is an improvement. Consolidated redundant functions. Remove the redundant edit task, update task, merging them into update task. That's pretty cool. That's a good one. Ensure do string is used when setting due dates matching the expected parameters improved parsing validation okay so a lot of interesting improvements i definitely want to test this out okay so this is interesting so as you can see and it's probably because chatgpt one preview is a model that was trained on older data perhaps or maybe probably from at least one year ago the model uh, made an update that doesn't make sense to the OpenAI API call because this is not how you do the API calls to the OpenAI API. It's funny that the model itself doesn't know how to call the, the API behind itself. <laughs> so this is one thing that we're going to have to improve. So I'm going to go over to cursor here. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to say um, in this function, in the script below, I am demonstrating how to use the OpenAI API with structured outputs leveraging Pydantic, which is a modern approach that I'd like you to keep in the improved version. OpenAI.checkCompletion.create has been deprecated for almost six months now. I think it's more, but it doesn't matter. So let's see if the model can integrate that. Because again, when you ask these models to write script for you, you have to have some process to validate that they actually have the most up-to-date information so that they don't provide with uh, you know, deprecated code and things like that. So let's see what happens. I'm going to just send it like this. So now the model is thinking. Let's see if we can improve the original script and write something that's actually decent. All right. 
it's, uh, the ChatGPT one preview model now takes a while to give answers, but uh, I feel like if it's okay to to have this trade off between waiting more for a response to make sure that the response that you get is actually high quality. So let's see if that's what we actually get in this example. All right, so we have even some validation for the API keys, which is pretty cool. It's a pretty valid way to do it. It's using GPT-4, which is, which is okay. We're going to forgive it. Let's see if the rest is okay. Okay, so we capped the rest as it was. Okay, so it's maintaining... As you can see, it's maintaining the, the structure of calling the OpenAI API with structured outputs like I asked. And uh, yeah, this looks like a pretty cool, interesting script to test. So it's, uh, it's using this response format, deprecated methods. Yeah, so it's using the modern approach, setting up the API key. It doesn't know about the GPT-40 mini model, which is fine. It's using logging, try accept blocks to handle exceptions gracefully. That's pretty cool preserved script executability okay let's test that out so i'm going to come over here and what i'm going to do is i'm going to just come over here to this script and i'm going to copy this i'm going to paste this out and and now i think we can test so let's see if this still works uh the action ta -da 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 -da. So the action we're going to take is going to be generate tasks bulk, just like we did before. Let's generate the same, the same script. So I'm going to say to do this API, but then I'm just going to switch for the script to be generate tasks to do this API. And this time I need to make a YouTube video about using AI to review Python scripts. Um, and then I, I will, I'll say the, the due date is September, let's say 13th, which is, I don't know, let's say September 14th, which is today. So let's see what happens. So now I run this and we got an error because response format is not supported with this model. Oh yeah, because we didn't switch the model. That's okay. We just got it. That's the only mistake that I think we can forgive, right? So we're going to come over here. We're going to say GPT-4.0 mini. I'm going to save it. And now I'm going to run it again. Okay. Nice. So it looks like it created. Create an edit video about Python script. Using edit review Python scripts. That's pretty cool. So let's hop over to Todoist. Let's see if it actually created the task. So I'm going to go to Todoist. And if I go down here. There you go, folks. Create and edit a YouTube video about using AI to review Python scripts. That's perfect. So it actually worked, which is pretty awesome. So if I come over here, you see that the task is created. Create and edit a YouTube video about using AI to review Python scripts. It's for today. So I think this is a pretty interesting way to combine different capabilities, right? I'm using the cursor editor, which is really good for editing code on the fly. I'm using ChatGPT01 preview to review code that I wrote before and uh, based on its input, I made the modifications that I needed. I actually just had to copy paste the code and the answer that we got was actually pretty good. Uh, we even have some log that we can, that we can check out. Uh, let's see, let's see, January Olympic logos, let's see, dot log. I have no idea what this thing says. But it's okay. And that's it, folks. Hope you liked the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And see you next time. Cheers.